Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I know I've taken a couple days off. I want to explain to you everything that I did. There's been a lot of changes to my settings, to my FOV, to my system that I'm playing on. I've been playing on the Xbox Series X in the past and I've been on 60 FPS because of the way my Elgato works, the way I can make my videos. And I decided I needed an upgrade to my PC. So I went out and got a brand new PC, man. It is an absolute monster. I'm not playing on my Xbox anymore. I went from the regular Xbox controller and now we are rocking the Elite controller. I have my settings on this, the way I have my paddles and everything and it is just, it's playing so much better. I'm pushing 144 FPS now in game and since they did the update, I'm running anywhere from like 20 to 45 pings so that's really good. But a lot has changed man, like I said. And I told you guys I would keep you guys up to date on everything, so that's what this video is about. We're going to cover all my settings. Now I want to talk to you guys about my Elite Series 2 controller settings because they're so much different than my regular Xbox controller. Now, like the way these Elite Series 2 are, it feels like they have natural stick drift in them. So whatever your dead zones are on your regular controller, when you do get the Elite controller, you're going to notice a big difference. Your settings, if they're low dead zones, are probably not going to work. So that's what I'm going to cover in this video. Show you guys everything. You guys can try them out. If you do have the Elite Series 2, I'm going to show you my button mapping as well. Let's get started. Okay, so taking a look at my settings. Now, my button layout, I'm regular on Recon. That's just the way I play. But it is on Custom right now because I did make some changes, okay? So with my Recon, I did move my Use Equipment button, which was LB. I moved that to A. And then I moved my Jump, which was A to LB. Okay, so I did that because I didn't want Jump to be on A anymore. And then so I kind of just left it. And then what I did is I moved my Jump to my bottom left paddle. And I am using the smaller paddles. I like those better. I'm using two right now. But I'm going to upgrade to three here probably today or tomorrow for a drop weapon um, keybind. That's my plan. So I have jump on my bottom left paddle. And I have sprint on my bottom right paddle. So naturally, my bottom left paddle is LB and my bottom right paddle is X. Now taking a look at my settings, a lot did change. So my look acceleration, I took that down to two. My look sensitivity, 4.5 and 4.5. Now, like I said, I did switch up my FOV. I am on 109, or actually, I'm on 110. I don't know why I was 109. I'm on 110, and I like that a lot. Now, with your 110, your settings are going to be a little bit different. You're going to have to mess with them to where it feels right. For me, this is what feels right. Two, 4.5, 4.5. The reason why I like two, I like a steady shot, okay? I feel like a steady shot is very important. You've heard me say that plenty of times. Now let's go over to my move thumbstick. Now, for my dead zones, to where I went into a custom game to where I can get it to stop moving by itself was 5.0. So I put 5.0 for my actual and for my center. And then for my max input threshold, I went to 10 as well. I like 10. I feel like that's a very good spot. Now for my look, I was playing around with the max input with this. I ended up at 7.5. And it's also the same. 5.0 and 5.0. Now, on my regular Xbox controller, where I feel like there's a lot less stick drift, I was at um, my center dead zone for move was at 0. My actual was at 3.0 or 3.5, and these were at 3.0, 3.5 for these dead zones. So there's a big difference when it comes to switching over to a controller that's an Elite Series 2. I don't know if it's the same for Scuff or Battle Beaver, but for the Xbox Elite Series 2, you're definitely going to want to be somewhere in the range of 5 to 10, so depending on the stick drift. Now, like I said, I did map my bottom left button to jump, my bottom left paddle to jump, and my bottom right paddle to sprint. Now, going over to the... Um, why does that keep going down to 110? Maybe 110 is 109. It keeps doing it itself, so let's see. Yeah, so okay, 110 is 109. That's why it keeps doing that. But okay, so my display adapter, I got the 3070 Ti. Got my display monitor there. Now, I'm going to cover these settings. My minimum frame rate, I went to 60. My maximum, 144. And then these are just really good computer settings. So you want um, this on low, texture filtering on low, occlusion on low, texture quality ultra, geometry quality ultra, reflections off, depth of field low, shadow quality low. Now some of these can be changed like on ultra and stuff like that. It depends how you play. If you're just playing casually or playing campaign and stuff, you could probably turn all these up. But I like to play competitively and play rank. So I want the best settings for rank. Lighting quality low, fall quality off. Cloud quality low, dynamic wind off, ground cover quality low, effects quality low, decal quality low, animation quality max, terrain quality low, simulation quality ultra. 
flocking quality off. Now, this one, I believe, was tweeted out by um, the community manager to have this on Ultra all the time. So make sure you have that on Ultra. Uh, a sync compute, uh, do not have that checked. Blur turned all the way down, screen shake, exposure, full screen effects, speed lines, all that turned down and speed lines unchecked. Sharpening, I turned that up to 100%. Audio, really nothing crazy going on here. Going over to the UI, um, I did mess with my weapon offsets a little bit, so I will show you that. Now, make sure you do have your network statistics turned down. That's how I can see my ping and my FPS. If you're on Xbox, you'll be able to see your ping, but you won't be able to see your FPS. So show enemy names. I do like that because sometimes I like calling the uh, enemy team out by names. Now, right here, make sure your uh, chromatic is unchecked, your bloom, parallax, all unchecked. Definitely don't want any of those. And then now for my uh, weapon offsets, I did change these up a little bit. I'm trying out negative 50 for every single one of them, as you can see. Now, make sure when you do change them, you do go ahead and change every single one of them. You could try this out. I'm kind of liking this a little bit better, but I'm um, still experimenting with it. Like I did have uh, negative 100, negative 100, and then, or this was negative 50, negative 100, negative 100. So I've just been trying them out. I like this negative 50 right now for all of those. Accessibility, there shouldn't really be anything in here. I'll double check this just to make sure. Yeah, all that's fine. Okay, there's that. Now, one of the other things I do want to talk to you guys about that I can't show you how to do it on my computer because I don't know how to bring it up because I did it when I was on my Xbox. So wherever your Xbox accessories app is to where you can go into your Xbox Elite controller and button map it, that's where you want to go. Now, what you're going to want to do is with your left stick, which is your move stick, you're going to want to turn that to instant. You can do that. Your right stick, I turned mine to smooth. So left stick, your move, instant. That's why you want to strafe on an instant. Like when you push it to the left, you want it to go to the left immediately. To the right, you want it to go to the right immediately. And then for my right stick, which is my aim, I usually aim with my left stick. But if I need to use my right stick, I want it to be smooth. So that's why I set that one to smooth. Definitely try that if you haven't. I'm sorry I can't bring it up. I don't know how to do it. I've had this computer for like two days. Haven't even played on it for like, more than two days you know i've just been grinding ranked it's so much better like i won't even lie when i tell you that there is a big difference from playing on my xbox series x to jumping over to this computer my shots are hitting so much better and i feel like i'm honestly almost on land some games which is crazy like shots that i would hit and wouldn't register are hitting now and it's making me just a better player like i felt like i was at such a disadvantage playing with my xbox series x compared to where i am now it's just unbelievable i'm so glad i switched I did lose the enemy marker when they when my uh, cursor goes over them. It goes red. I don't have that no more. I do miss it, but this is just so much better, man. If you have a PC that can hold this game, you can look up the minimum requirements for your PC. Obviously, it needs to be able to, you know, run it well. But if it can run it, I would I would try running it. I think you would notice a big difference, especially if you can get up to 144. Um, even uh, some people are up to 240, so which is crazy, but. Definitely try it out if you can. If you're still on Xbox, don't feel like you're at such a disadvantage because, I mean, I played great on Xbox, but there's definitely a difference, and I notice it. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I will catch you guys on the next one. We got a lot coming. Hopefully, this turned out well. I mean, it's the first video on the new PC. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.